So I'm just back from Miami, Florida, where we just finished our biofeedback and neurofeedback BCIA seminars. And um, I'm going to share a few clips with you from the training um, back here in New York. And we're going to be getting ready for the training that we're going to be doing here in uh, New York, in Hawthorne, New York, that's in Westchester County, for both the biofeedback and neurofeedback. We have training in the uh, spring, the summer, and the fall for BCIA certification, peripheral biofeedback and neurofeedback. The schedule is listed on our website, which is biofeedbackinternational.com. So you can uh, check out our, our website, check out the schedule, give us a call if you're interested in training. Phone number in the office is 877-669-6463 or 914-762-4646 and you can uh, find out more about the training and register for the training. Again, we're going to be offering training. Usually uh, every year we offer training in the spring, summer, and fall in New York, Hawthorne, New York. And then we also offer training in Miami, Florida that usually we do in the winter in January. Um, we may also have some other locations coming up, uh, for instance, uh, possibly Houston in the uh, summer. And just uh, check out the website for dates and locations coming up near you and uh, that are dates that uh, will work for your schedule. So check out the uh, clip and give us a call and let us know if you want to attend the training or if you have any questions. So when you're when you're selecting the screens, remember we were selecting the five yeah, screens. Yeah. There were they, they had names, mm -hmm. and the name of the screen you see up here it says recording mode, open display. It has the client initials and yeah. and then screen training HRV percent power pacer and animation. And you have the name uh, uh, back there when you see here also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now when you the other there were some other choices when you were selecting screens like um, total power. Total power was another mm -hmm. choice. What are some of the other things that are going on? How do I switch? Now, if you want to zoom in, and that's yeah. a very good rate, also. Yeah. You yeah. Did you uh, I turn off I, the I put that on so she could see it. Okay. Yeah. So if you so want to. So she could do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, here. Yeah. If 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 I wanted, if you wanted to zoom in on the blue. Yeah. So we have it on auto scale right now. Mm -hmm. So you have to take it off auto scale and that's the right click. Right click is off auto scale? Yeah, and so you either check it or don't check it. And if so you don't check? If you want to zoom in, then you uncheck it. Mm -hmm. So now it's on manual scale. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, and it will zoom it in. And you can move the scale in the, in the square okay. sub there. So what you're doing is you're saying, okay, where is the, the lowest zoom. reading? The line is here, this is 40. So you would make the, the minimum is going to be at least uh, 40. Uh -huh. Right now it's at zero, so that's why it's so insensitive. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. if we make the, say to make the minimum 40 and then take a look at it, and then you could adjust it more if you need to. Okay. And you have to know which side you're looking at. So you're looking at this side, and so see this has the left side bright or, or black. And if you click this, it'll, make, it'll go on this side, the heart rate. Oh, do you see? It switches. It switches so that this you're 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 controlling which side you want to control for the measurement. Okay. So right now you're back on your on the. But if I do it again, I'm then now your heart rate. Mm hmm And now your respiratory. Wait, let's see. No, you're good. Heart rate. All right. And then Depending on the color of the. It's forty because 40. see you go up from zero to see where you want. Do I hit enter or do just I? Just you can click inside hit, the graph again. Whatever. Doing it inside the graph. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And now, if you wanted to make more fine adjustments, then you could just go up, you know, click in the graph again so you get the. Um, so you see the graph is not circled. Now there's a box around yeah. it. So if you wanted to make it even more sensitive, you could do that there. But you might want to ask her to, do, to do some breathing so that if she starts breathing deeper, see? it's not going to go off scale. Yeah, look, see, she's. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I wasn't breathing. Well, I was. I just don't breathe deep. Okay. Yeah. But that's what I wanted to see is 
just for my personal, I like to zoom in a little bit so that I can see it, whereas when it was zoomed out, it was too small. Yeah, yeah, you didn't see the contrast. Because I don't breathe very deep. As much, yeah. Okay. So now let's, um, if you are finished with what you were doing here, then you could go to the screen that has the EMG on it. I want to see that one. This is I'll where number. you could see what's going on with the upper body here. So when she takes a breath, you want to see, is this one also going up? That would show that now she's Now you are controlling shoulders. better EMG. I am. Yeah, okay. look, you're down, way down. And this is, this is uh, at, uh, Less Special. than four. I am, got so. me. <laughs> I don't have a headache today. It's bad. And here we might adjust the heart scale so that we would want the other side if we want to adjust the for the heart because it's it's showing from That's twenty beats per minute up to about one hundred and thirty. So it's, it's too wide. So oh, wait, you can look to see if it's on the scale. The way you figure that out is if you can click up there or not. Like that? Yeah. And then this. Is that the... So is this is heart. And you see about where the signal is. Yeah. So you can decide what you want for minimum and maximum. So you have to decide if this is heart or this is breath. You have to know which is which. That is... This one? That's breath, right? right. The so, blue is breath. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And that's heart. Yeah, right. good job. <laughs> okay. And it is so, going to be blue in all the in all the screens. Okay. Respiration. Mm -hmm. So we were saying that you might want to change the, the, the graph for heart rate because it's from 20 yeah. to 130. So mm -hmm. it would be more reasonable maybe to make it, what did we say, maybe... 40, 50, 40 between, to, between 40 and 100. Right. You know, also, my elbow is supporting my shoulder. Well, you have to put your hands... I know, I just realized that. That's one reason <laughs> yes. why it might be that my shoulders aren't as tense. Yeah, now I can't keep it lower than the threshold. When I was leaning on my armrest, mm -hmm. I You are doing too much low. pressure. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're allowing the armrest to hold your shoulders, oh you hold your arms up. And now when you don't have it there, you feel like your to, yeah. shoulders have to hold your arms up when you could really just let them That's hang. Funny. But it's, you have to work on it. Now in this, in this position, try to repeat what you were doing, you were doing with the respiration. Uh, That's you do. correct. That's you very do. good. Cool. I can't talk though. No. Mm -hmm. But you can do it occasionally. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, a three degree or five degree increase today. I, I may not tell them 94 degrees if they're at 70 or 75. Um, and what does that really not reflect? Yet. What does that really reflect? Is it the blood vessels being more dilated or okay. constricted okay. in the in the hands? Mm -hmm. just got cold. The air just came yes. Out. Is and it that's, cold? That's a good uh, a good point. Is that you even for other, for all of the modalities there are artifacts to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. So it's not just for EEG or EMG or EKG. Even temperature there are artifacts. So if the like Dr. Palacios was saying about having the sensor lower down, so it's really making contact with the finger. If it's up here. It's really getting the air temperature. And if the tape or whatever you're using is too tight, it's constricting, so it, you're getting less blood flow. So that'll decrease the he temperature. He also said, to, I was laying my hand palm down, and it was picking up my leg temperature. Right. So that uh, would be an artifact. Mm, that's so an important part. Where should you put your hand? Palm up. Palm up. We talked about the, the temperature of the room. Mm -hmm. So if the room is too cold or too hot, you, that would cause a heart attack. You want hotter temperature? No, I no? just I think I'm right under the vent. So the, well, the, the vent is here. But well, I'm you're not, feeling the air, though. I right? just feel it. It's so not cold. If you, you have air blowing on you, that's going to be an artifact, oh, too. Okay. So, you know, you could have the temperature, let's say your hand temperature is 84, and all of a sudden the air temp the air conditioning turns on and you feel yeah, no, the air 79. That's going to cause an yeah. artifact. I, we, yeah. we should stop. 
so the recording. The you can save it. You always want to stop the recording before you disconnect the okay. sensors. Mm -hmm. So how do I do the Stop. Square up the top. Square stop. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then save. save. Now when you save, in the description, I, I like to put the modalities that I was doing. Uh, because when you go back to database, there's, you can't tell what you recorded unless you have some... Okay, because they're all So you list, you list uh, K, M, or e, would, e, M, e, M, G, e. H, R, V, H, R, V, um... EMG, Can I just put commas? For that. Okay. I, I'll show you why I do that. Because yes. remember in that okay. channel set, you could record any of all those modalities. Uh, we had uh, EMG, HRV, temperature, and respiration. Respiration. Well, you can also have a, a training code. Yeah, you can have a code, but with the, I, I, just, I just do it that way and I'll show you why. So if you just click OK now, and let's say no, we don't want to review right now. And no. we'll say no. Mm -hmm. And okay. And just say yes for that. Now, if you, let's say it's three weeks later. Now you go to database and you want to look up what you did last time. So you see on this, you have the person's name, you have the date and time, you have the channel set. The description. And then the description, for me, I use that to tell me what sensors I use. Because yeah. in this channel set, I could have done all the sensors. I could have done one EMG. I could have done one temperature. Yeah. I have no way to know. But if I put it here, then that tells me. And then, now, if you did the same thing all the time with the person, then you don't have to do that. You could just have a code that's, you could just say multi-sensor or whatever.